Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? The importance of critical practice in adult education to encourage learners to co-construct knowledge and co-facilitate their own education experiences allows students to make decisions and choices about many aspects of classroom life. Today, the research and study was done by Basel in two thousand four. In class, the teacher asked the students to write down the following questions. For example, what do we need? What do we want from the program? The class then comes up with all sorts of answers. The first questions mentioned above could have answered such as. We need self motivation. We need time. We need self direction. I don't get anything from this program because it does not give me useful structures. All the class may comes up with. We do not expose to individual time and space. We need individual time and space. Of course, there could be many more other good excuses. Answers or nonsense ones related to the first question mentioned, like "What do we need?" So to be effective, we need to put and think about the issues that had been raised critically and consciously, so that action and improvement can achieve. The aim of critical pedagogy is to defamiliarize what was once a very ordinary, mundane, routine, and banal issue into something that seen under the microscope. For example, the issue under critical pedagogy can be compared with the larger social order regarding participants' knowledge, experiences, practices. And culture, social, and economical, to arrange further improvements. Educators use many different forms of critical pedagogy. At least here, based on Chapman two thousand four, can give some guidance and hints for the creation of critical practice. For example, course assignments. Generating discussion, writing as talking, narrative, and ink shedding. Sometimes when we watch a video or movie, unconsciously questions pop out of our minds. These issues could be: Why the main character does that to another character? Has she has any intention as of why she is doing that? Why is she saying that? Why does he want to steal? There are many examples. Questions arise in our minds unconsciously when we watch movies. These are the critical practices that are making us want to find more answer to the mysteries or problems. It is the same as adopting critical pedagogy in the educational setting. When the individual began to have queries about the issues, problems, or the objects, bear in mind it is a positive sign towards learning. Thank you very much for participating today, watching, and listening. Until next time.